What up, y'all? What's good? What's good with you? So, yeah, I just went to go get some gas and shit. Because my shit was down there on E. Not my shit down there on F. I was bullshitting at $15 of gas. I was just trying to get the work and back on time. That's all I was trying to do, get the work and back. I ain't trying to push no cars, no trucks, none of that bullshit. So, yeah, anyway, um, the Lions. Yeah, man, yeah, oh, the Bears, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 the bears, man, yeah, <laughs> you lines are losers, you're the toilet, oh, and all this other bullshit, you know what, fuck Chicago, fuck the bears, bitch, I'm going hard on y'all motherfuckers tonight, fuck the bears, I want y'all to fucking suffer, I want y'all to suffer, even though every time we play y'all, we always get banged up like a motherfucker, Fuck Chicago Bears. Fuck Green Bay. And fuck the Minnesota Vikings. Fuck y'all bitches. We don't give a fuck about none of y'all pussies. We don't care. I This is war week. I don't like y'all motherfuckers. I can't stand y'all motherfuckers. Fuck Justin Fields. Fuck your field. Fuck your stadium. Fuck Soldier Field. With that raggedy piece of shit that y'all call the stadium. It's the most raggediest piece of shit in the fucking league. Even the fucking Chicago people don't even like Soldier Field because it's a piece of shit and it's old and raggedy than the motherfucker. But with that being said, <laughs> let's go into the preview real quick. Lions, how can they win this game? Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Keep the ball out of the Bears' hands, man, because you know you can't you can't do shit. The Lions don't do shit against running quarterbacks. You know this. You know this. I know this, and we know this. They're terrible against scrambling running quarterbacks. They're terrible. And some Lions fans they think we turned the shit around because oh they turned it around. Oh uh they had a meeting and all this other shit. Like man, this is all the talks and 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 lingo in the lingo. Whatever the fuck you call it, the language and shit, all the language and shit to keep fans engaged into the fucking season because they know the season probably is a false hope right now. But that being said, we should not lose to this pussy ass team at all because I don't give a fuck. Uh, we should win. We should not lose to this team. We should win at all costs. Um, I don't care what the draft picks is. I don't care what it is. I don't care what the circumstance is. We should always beat this team no matter what. I can't stand this fucking team. But you know, the Lions, man, I don't know. Man. Hey, man. You know, you gotta get, you gotta get some coffee, man. You know, I gotta I got hook you guys up with, with the Starbucks deal, man. You know, you know, I, I know, and you know, that's what he also says. Well, you know, you know, I know, and you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pissed, bro. We got crushed crush um, Justin Fields. We probably got to fuck him up. Really bad in this game. <laughs> Just to have a chance to win, bro. <laughs> to have a chance to win. For real, for real. I ain't trying to get on tickets, so let me slow the fuck down. I am going through bum-ass Dearborn, so... They some pussies and shit. The police some pussies over here, so I don't, I don't fuck with them old ass motherfuckers over here. They be on that bullshit. So, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, we gotta beat them, run the ball. Amar Rossi Brown should get a lot of targets this week. He should. He should get a lot of targets. Jared Goff is a bum. He don't get he don't get his guys targets, bro. I mean, yeah, he try to throw it to him every time when he healthy, but this is a Mon Rossi Brown game. This should be a Mon Rossi Brown game in a running game. Period. Point blank. Period. Swift and Swift mad because he ain't getting enough touches and carries. Swift, that's your own fucking fault. 
you don't want to get injured every fucking week. You get you 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 scared to get a toenail and you you get a toenail, you get a, a hangnail and you out for fucking five weeks. So of course they're not gonna play you like you want to get played. I don't blame Dan Campbell. I don't blame his coaching staff. Every time you turn around, your ass hurt. Ah, 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 ah. You touch that motherfucker. Ah, ah, I'm out for five weeks. Ah, ah, I'm out for ten weeks. That's why they don't want to give you the fucking ball. And you got the nerve to get pissed at them? It's not their fucking fault. It's not their fault. Don't get mad at Dan Campbell. Don't get mad at the offensive coordinator. It's not their fault. Don't get mad at them. It's your fault. Yo, like they say, you don't know, you don't know this between being hurt and injured. Oh! Oh! Come on, bro. Come on. You are DeAndre Swift being, he is like the finger poke of doom in this bitch. You poke that some bitch, you could come, pin the cover his ass one, two, three in this motherfucker. He is the finger poke of doom of running backs in this motherfucker. You want to sit up here and get mad because he ain't getting enough touches in this bitch. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Get your ass up out of here with that crybaby shit. We don't want to hear that, none of that bullshit. Because you the one being on that crybaby shit don't want to play. And don't want to fight through the fucking pain. Nobody want to hear that bullshit. Not no real Lions fans. Maybe them 2,000 babies Lions fans or them Lions fans that became fans after Stafford came to the team type shit. But not us real Lions fans that's been fans for 20 years or longer. Nobody want to hear that bullshit. You the finger poke of doom running back, bro. It's over with, bro. You want... Jamal, and you wonder why Jamal is taking your snaps in this bitch. Or uh, Craig Reynolds or Justin Jackson taking your snaps. Because you the finger poke of doom running back. You finger poke that bitch. He, you you lost, bro. You you finger poke that motherfucker. He out for five weeks. Come on, bro. Come on. This bullshit. You shouldn't get mad at nothing. You should try to work your way back into the lineup. Try to prove that you're the number one. You're running back one. Instead of crying about the shit, try to prove it. Shit. And I don't hate your talent. You talented as a motherfucker. But you can't stay on the field. Shit. That motherfucker, Kevin Nash, was, he was talented in the motherfucker too as a wrestler. But you figure put that motherfucker as Hulk Hogan. You out that bitch. Ain't you? You the same way. You the same fucking way, bro. Come on. And the Bears, they trash. We should kill the Bears. Honestly. We should have swept them last year. Honestly. But we didn't. Both games, they could have got swept. The thing I'm going to ask for this team, stay healthy. That's the number one thing. Stay healthy. If you stay healthy in this game, you got a chance to win. That's the bottom line. If you stay healthy, you will win. If you don't stay healthy, you'll lose. And keep Justin Fields in the pocket. Because I'm not really worried about his offense, really. His receivers and running backs and shit. I'm not really worried about them. I mean, they could surprise us and bust our ass, but I'm not really worried about his skill players like that. It's more so us. We worried about I'm worried, I'm more worried about us in our in our actions. So yeah, man. Man. Hey man. Hey man, I got I got hey man after that game man I want a beer man. I want a beer man, you know, I want a beer. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about this in the comment section. Let me know just <laughs> I'm talking about all over the place. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this game. I'm out, peace.